Hi right, guys, uh, let's look at a few examples of how to use the geometric series in word problems. Okay, now obviously, certain things we don't know anything about. I mean, like Capano wants to buy soccer boots costing 800 grand. That's unfair, that can't in maths give us things that we don't know anything about. But the thing is, we do actually. Okay, he. Uh, we, we don't know about the situation, but we know about the numbers, and we're learning about the numbers, and, and the aim is actually to use numbers to solve problems. So, let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, Kapana wants to buy a soccer boots costing 800, but he only has 290. Kapana's uncle one, uh, challenges him to do well on his homework for a reward. Um, uncle Stephen agrees to reward him with 50 cents on the first day, he does well in his homework, one round the second day, two rand the third day, and so on for ten days. So here we go. Let's write that as a number pattern. It starts with 50 cents and then it goes to one rand. So it actually starts with half a rand. Let's make it 0, 0,5. Here we have 0, 0,5. Then it gets one rand, then it gets two rand, and this goes on for ten turns until T10. Okay. Now, in this, we can see that, okay, first we added 50 cents, 0, 0,5, then we added 1 rand. There's not a constant difference. Okay. There's only three terms, so we don't know if it's a geometric sequence, but what we do recognize is that it's being doubled every time. The constant ratio is 2. So that we get our first term is 0, 0,5 and our constant ratio is 0, oh, sorry, just 2. And we want to work out, let's look at the first question. Determine the total amount Stephen gives Capano for 10 days of homework well done. So, in other words, the total amount means for the first day you got 50 cents, the next day you got 1 rand, but it was added. Every time it gets added, and it gets added all the way up to term 10. It gets added together. He's saving it up. Which means we actually have a sum. Okay, and the sum for a geometric sequence is given by formula 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. And then in this case, let's start a new step in new color. Okay. In this case, we see that we want to sum up the 10 terms. Okay, where our first term was 50 cents, so 0, 0,5. Our constant ratio is 2. That's so going to have an exponent of 10. And we're dividing by 1 minus 2. See, so we've gotten completely out of our problem um, of that we don't know about soccer boots and what have it. Um, but we know about numbers. Okay, so let's do that. 1 minus 2 to the power of 10. Inside the bracket, minus 2 to the power of 10. Inside the bracket, I get negative 1,023 multiplied by 0.5 is negative 510 divided by 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Divided by negative 1, and I get 511 rand and 50 cents. Now that is not enough for the boots. It's not enough. The boots cost 800 rand. But I do know he, he already has 290 rand. So what does Kupano... Kupano, sorry. What does Kupano have in his savings? Is... would be... The 290 he originally had, plus the 511 rand and 50 cents he would get from his uncle, which gives us a total of 801 rand and 50 cents. He'll have enough. Okay. Is it worth Kapana's time to accept the challenge? Oh, I actually did a second question already. How much would his uncle give him in 10 days? We worked that out 
That is that is how much he's uncovered at the end of the day. Sorry, I I just answered the question before I knew it. Okay. And then is it worth Kapana's time to take up his uncle's challenge? Okay, let's see. He will make eight hundred and one rand. So they say motivate your answer. So we'll say yes because he will have enough. He will have enough to buy his boots. Cool. And I think this is a typical question that confuses students, but as soon as they see, okay, let's just get out of the foreign context and into the numbers that we do know something about, then it is actually quite easy. Cool, guys. Good luck, and I hope you guys get a few to practice on your own and you get it right. See you later.